Shaquille O'Neal was one of the most dominant centers in NBA history. So in today's video, we are going to take a team of Shaqs in NBA 2K19 and find out if he could go 82-0 in today's NBA. I mean, if he could do this, maybe it's possible for him to do it in all-time teams. Uh, we'll have to find out. I don't know if there's a if there's a player that would actually be able to do that. Um, so here we are in 2K19. As you can see on the all-time Lakers, I duplicated Shaq. So we got 15 of him. Every single player on the team is Shaq. I didn't change any ratings or anything. It's all 2K's rating. 98 overall. So this is going to put him as the highest overall in the game, tied with LeBron James, uh, since we are in the current NBA. And uh, leave your comment down below. Do you think Shaq will be able to go 82-0 and win the NBA championship? Or maybe he doesn't go 82-0. Maybe he doesn't even win the championship. Let's find out. All right, so we're pretty much done the season right now. And as you can see, Shaq is 80-0. He has not lost any game. And none were really even close either. As you can see, some of these are like 50-point blowouts. There wasn't really any teams that even got remotely close to beating Shaq. It's usually like a 20. We got a nine point win right here. Uh, maybe the Warriors did a little better. Not even the Warriors weren't even close to beating him. So just every team, this game was actually really close. That's a nine point or 11 point W right there. Uh, there's a few close ones like this. Four point win over the Suns. So a few teams actually getting really, really close to beating Shaq, just not quite enough to do it. There's two games left of the season though. Can Shaq go undefeated? Clippers, it's a W and the Kings should be a W. Yeah, that was a 50 point win against the Kings. So now checking out the awards, Shaq probably won't win any. Stephen Curry, MVP, Luka Doncic, Rookie of the Year, Tyreek Evans, six man, Giannis defensive player, most improved to De'Aaron Fox and Sean Cartwright of the all-time Lakers is good. Obviously going to get coach of the year 82 and oh, the first time in NBA history. And now we're going to check out if he made any of these all NBA teams. Usually, I mean, when you got 15 of the same players, it is really hard to actually make all, any of these all NBA teams. And as you can see right there, he does not make any Shaq yet to make any of these teams. Let's check out uh, standing or stats, should I say? Let's check out stats. We'll go for uh, team stats right here. Well, that's playoffs. Let's go to season stats, player stats. Let's just check out how each Shaq actually did. So even the top Shaq, so 18.5 points per game, 7.5 rebounds, 12 rebounds, 15 points, one with a double double there. I uh, don't think anybody else has double doubles. It starts at 18, goes all the way down to 9, and then one Shaq actually didn't get any minutes, unfortunately, for him. Uh, I did not actually want to switch teams. Rebounds, the most was 12. Assists, the most was 2.5. Steals, uh, blocks, one got over 1.1 a game. But even more interesting is these team stats right here so obviously 82 and oh if we look at points per game the team of shacks did the best in the nba they also allowed the least amount of points in every game the, the biggest difference 33.5 field goals made uh they had the most field goals attempted they weren't at the top though field goal percentage at the very top three pointers obviously won't be up there free throws made per game are at the top they still only i mean 60 percent for shaq shooting three throws free throws is not bad at all offensive rebounds obviously going to be the highest defensive rebounds the highest as well and total rebounds the all-time shacks 15 shacks had 14 more than any other team the assists were on the top let's see these blocks blocks on the top as well so pretty much anything that wasn't scoring or three pointers and steals i believe those are the only two and assists weren't at the top anything else these guys were at the top just easily uh just destroying the league in every category they should be able to go 82 and 0 and uh completely win the playoffs here they're uh, the first seat in the west i did put them in the west this is the all-time lakers so let's just simulate the playoffs i mean we should get a 4-0 in every round for the team of Shaqs. They haven't lost the game in the regular season. 
They probably won't in the playoffs. We're about to find out here. Nuggets eliminated right there, 4-0 in the first round. Now let's see who all moves on here. Toronto, Atlanta moving on, Boston, Indiana. Lakers still, or the team of Shaq still without losing. See if they actually lose a game to the Golden State Warriors. Atlanta somehow beats the Raptors, and then the Celtics move on as well. And now the team of Shaq's 2-0, 3-0, and that's another sweep. So we're actually going to slow this down right here. I actually want to catch a bit of the game. It's going to be the Celtics in the finals. Let's simulate this game by game. Should be another sweep if they swept the Golden State Warriors. And let's just hop into the end of the game. Shaq ends up going 82-0 right here. Let's just simulate all the way to the end. Okay, so here we are in the final game. They got a 50-point lead over the Boston Celtics, and I just want to check out how they end up even playing these games, like what their strategy and everything is for. Do they just go inside every play or what? We'll find that out pretty soon here, though. Shaq looks like he just comes inside, puts up layups, and I think he just really... I mean, they just box up, and it's easy, especially for, like, a, a center versus a point guard. Obviously, he's going to get down in the paint really easily and just get wide open. I believe this is, like, the first time we've had a player go 82-0. and Because um, we did this in 2K18. Maybe it's a little different in 2K19. Maybe LeBron, Curry, Kyrie, maybe they can all go undefeated in this game. We'll have to do that in a future video if we do find that out. Shaq ends up going undefeated. So we're just going to wait till the end of the game here. Get this actual championship celebration. Of course, as usual, when we do these teams of one player, we get to find out who the MVP is going to be. Obviously, this time, we got a few different options. Uh, Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq, O'Neal, O'Neal. Uh, a few different options here. So let's just watch this championship celebration. Here we go with the MVP and the trophy holding right here. That team of Shaq. Shaq ends up getting the finals MVP. That looks so weird with all of them. Also, 2K, I don't I always hate the way that Shaq looks at 2K. Look at them shoes. Uh, we're just gonna exit out here. See, see how good the best Shaq actually did. That would actually do the best. 18 points per game. So kind of the same as regular season seven. Like literally. The exact same as the regular season, the top shack in the regular season. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you want to see anybody else, uh, a team of somebody go off and try to go 82-0, definitely leave it in the comments down below. Smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. This has been your boy, Sweetquel, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Never in the same space that we started at. Throw the ball, I run the play like a quarterback. I've been up all night trying to make a stat, trying to get a black and flip a dream into a solid fact. I hustled hard for it. One day they will notice. Chasing in the day.